Next tonight, the families of three patients who all died after undergoing the same specialised endoscopy procedure have accepted an undisclosed amount of damages from Nottingham's Queen's Medical Centre. An inquest found patients weren't properly consented or assessed for risky treatment. The hospital says it's made big changes after the coroner ordered urgent action. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports. Bill Dolman, Anita Berkey and Peter Sellers all died back in 2020 after an endoscopy procedure, ERCP, at the QMC. Legal action in a fourth case, Carol Cole, is ongoing. Bill's widow discovered later that her husband, who was 76, wasn't properly assessed and should never have undergone the procedure, used to treat possible gallstones and other conditions. It led to fatal complications. I can't make sense of it. I just wish you hadn't have had it done. Because you can't go back, can you? All I've got to do now is keep going forward. Luckily, I've got a blooming good family. <laughs> I have to keep going. I keep going for them. As she now faces life alone, Tanette wonders what might have been. I do miss him every day. It's hurtful when you think of all the, the wrongs that were done. I know that nobody is perfect and people do make mistakes, but please take more care. David's mother, Anita, a retired machinist from Long Eaton, also died from the procedure and the inquest revealed it should never have been done. The risks never properly spelt out. It, it was really concerning, the lack of communication between people. They, they didn't seem to talk to people as they should do and let them know the full story behind my mum's case. We feel guilty in respect that it didn't work out as it should have done. The lawyer representing three of the families who've received damages says for them it was never all about money. No amount of compensation um, could ever make up uh, for what's happened here. Um, our client's hope and ours going forward is that the hospital trust has learned lessons and implemented changes so that no other families have to go through this kind of suffering again. Well, Rob's at the Queen's Medical Centre now. Rob, what more has the trust had to say? Well, they've sent their sincere condolences to the family tonight and say they're sorry they should and could have done more. Whenever any of us undergo a medical procedure, albeit an operation or another procedure, it's really important that the risks are spelt out. They call it informed consent. And these cases go to the heart of that. That's what they're all about, really, that lack of a robust consent process in these cases. The Trust said that it's made big changes, or it's making big changes. What, what more can you tell us about those, Rob? Well, they were ordered to make changes by the coroner. So what they've done, they say, is they've now got a, a robust consent process. Uh, they've got a new clinic where they go through the pros and cons of surgery with and procedures with families uh, of the endoscopy procedure. The other thing that's happened is they say they've taken on more consultants. And um, as well as that, they're looking at a new system to monitor the outcomes of procedures. So if there are problems, they can get on top of them quickly. So there's been a whole raft of measures, we're told, uh, in this regard uh, for what is a very specialised type of endoscopy procedure. OK, Rob, thanks very much.